Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal in one a new alien movie. What could go wrong? Welcome everybody to another review from Hell. I'm Andreas and today we have the movie Life. Now this is not the Eddie Murphy one that we saw like nearly 20 years ago. Um, this is a new alien movie with um, oh a few good, few big names here. I mean, uh, apart from Ryan Reynolds and Jay Gyllenhaal, um, we have uh, Rebecca Ferguson, which plays very well in this movie. Hiroyuki Sanata, which is an uh, you know, um, he's a very, he plays it very well, as, as everybody else in this movie. Um, now, I was really looking forward to this. Um, sometimes it, I do get a bit scared when I see some big names, especially like uh, Reynolds and Jenna Hall. I mean, these two guys are probably at the top of their game at the moment. You know, we've got Deadpool, we've got the other one, Nightcrawler, we have... Um, all these movies um, just coming out with these two guys in it you know they're just popping up everywhere you see so when you put these two together in a new alien movie directed um, directed by Daniel Espinosa now, I'm not sure what this uh, guy has done apart from that oh Safe House again with Ryan Reynolds very good movie very underrated movie too um, Easy Money, Child 44, yeah, yeah, these, these are, these are really good movies, you know, these are really big, big movies, um, smart movies, and I like that, and I thought, you know, hey, you put an, a guy that's done this to make an alien movie, what can go wrong? Now, this movie starts out quite fast, um, I would say probably in the first 15 minutes the action kicks in, which is very good, I do like, I, I don't want, I don't want to hear too much science in these movies i know they're in space i know they're discovering new things and blah 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 but when they sit down and have their meetings and talk and talk and talk as if you're supposed to understand anything they're bloody saying sometimes it does drag and here they got rid of all of that they gave you um just like a a, uh, a bit of a trailer of their personality, let's say, of each of them, and you feel for them. You know, one of the the Asian guy's wife is giving birth. You've got the other. You've got Ryan Reynolds. He's playing like the. He's not the scientist. He's kind of like the engineer pl slash plumber guy. You know, um, you've got um, Jake Gyllenhaal. That he's been in space, like you know, for more than a year. And he's breaking the record and he loves it up there. You know, you've got a bit of a back... You've got the personality anyway check up for all of them. And it's really nice how just quickly this kicks in. And the, the thing that's difficult for these people to do is to make this movie real. To make it feel like these are real people in real situations. And that's what makes good movies. Um, like Alien, you know, the, the, obviously that was like... what. 40, I don't mean, know, like 40 years ago or something. Um, it was something new, um, something we never had seen before, something very, um, very brave to make at its time. Uh, and here, after seeing all this Fast and the Furious, uh, Triple X rubbish, and you know, all these uh, big disappointments anyway uh, of today. We, it's nice to just settle down and see a good realistic movie. Someone that, you know, if they'd seen an alien in front of them, they will do what normal people do. Now, this movie does do that. It does, it, you see the fear in their faces from uh, the second the alien comes up until it, you know, until the end. Spoiler alert. I cannot review this movie as much as I try. I don't feel I can get everything out without spoiling this movie so guys if you haven't seen it turn it off now because it's going to be a big spoiler um my problem with this movie first of all was they put names in this movie for no reason at all these roles could have been played um by nearly anybody you could have got any good 
nameless actor and done a really good job. I, I understand why they did it, so they can just put more buns in the seats. You know, they, when you, I mean, it got me too when I see when I saw the names. I was just like, wow, this looks great. I would have seen this movie anyway. I've seen so much shit. You know what? This would have been the least of my worries. I would have seen this movie. Nevertheless, you didn't have to put um, uh, Ryan Reynolds in it for 10 minutes. He probably just literally has 10 minutes of screen time in this movie, guys. He dies. Like, I think he's the first one who dies in this movie. And I understand sometimes they want to uh, give you that element of surprise, like what they did with... Um, uh, what they do with uh, these series now on TV, like Game of Thrones and stuff. But at the same time, it would be nice if he actually done something in the movie, if they give him time to bring something to the screen. Ryan Reynolds is such a big, charismatic character. He's such, he's got, he's so charming and so funny sometimes. Isn't he? And they didn't let him hardly do anything in this movie before they killed him off. Uh, Jake Junior uh, Holt played well, but they, again, he didn't really have too much to work with. He was good for what they gave him. Um, what's her name? Rebecca Ferguson, again, played very well. And you can't not think that this is kind of a rip-off of Alien, especially number one. You know, they all go into this, they find a new um, life form, they touch it, they whatever, they do their research on it, and whatever, blah, blah, and it turns against them and screws them all at the end. It's nothing new. Um, the design of the alien was okay. It started off a bit like, kind of, I mean, when it was grown like as a seed, it kind of looked like baby grew, and then it went into, you know, a transparent flubber. And, and then it just, you know, at one point it looked like a flying vagina, and then, it, you know, it just turned into an exotic, um, exotic plant. It was okay. I've seen worse. I've seen better. It would have been more nice if it was more gory. I don't know, maybe a bit. It was all right. Some of the CGI blood could have been a bit better, but I liked, what I did like about the movie was the camera work. The camera work was absolutely f amazing. It captured everything, the way they were floating around the spaceship, uh, running away from the alien. It, all this worked perfectly. Um, ending, I'm not gonna spoil about the ending, but it was a bit cheesy. Could have been better. It's an ending we've seen before. Um, uh, I wish I could say I want to like this movie I wish I could say something better it is a good movie definitely worth the watch you enjoy it I, I enjoyed it but there's it's like if this this is like a big pile of cheese like a big round pile of nice cheese but it's got too many holes in the middle if I had to describe this movie um Definitely worth the watch. If you haven't seen it, haven't seen it, watch it. You will enjoy it. Probably more than me. I'm just nitpicking sometimes, but when I see these actors, I expect nothing less than the best. All right, guys. So that was my take on life. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.